In the Gaelic native tongue, the Scottish word loch means lake or inlet sea. It doesn't even look real. This looks like a painting you'd hang on your wall. With a writhing coastline that seemingly stretches on infinitely, Scotland's brilliance will leave you looking for words and very likely at a loss for breath. It's just serenity. But it's the manner in which those waterways are monitored, protected, and revered that's advancing the country's overall culinary scene forward. Standing here and seeing how beautiful and majestic this landscape is, you can see why sustainability would be one of the cornerstones of Scotland. Yeah, I mean, I think aquaculture is a very new form of farming, a bit of agriculture for many years, so aquaculture. 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 So so agriculture on land, aquaculture, aquaculture in the sea. Simon Briggs, Richard Hunt Smith, and the seafood company located at Loch Fine on Scotland's west coast are bringing a treasure trove to market. Briny oysters, sweet langoustine, mussels, scallops, and of course, Scottish smoked salmon. Smell smoky. We smoke our salmon using chippings from retired whiskey casks. Fire in the hole! This is the funnest part of the job. The salmon that we're looking at, is yeah. this wild caught? All the salmon here is farmed on the west coast of Scotland. These fillets look absolutely phenomenal. The methods that you use to not just cure the salmon, but to smoke it, fillet the fish, it really shines through in the quality, the taste, I mean, just the appearance. Higher standards, better product. That's exactly it. The farm raising process, it's to increase sustainability and lessen the impact on the environment. If we were to take wild salmon, the salmon would have been gone many years ago. So you're not depleting any wild stock. We have a motto at Lot Fine, how worthy of honor is the sea. So in my view, that means we will always leave it better than we found it. Would it be frowned upon if I grabbed one of these fillets and took a bite out of it? Unfortunately, yes. But what's harvested from the waters is only half the story. Uh, Come on. Who's hungry? You often hear free range and farm raised. Yep. And I mean, this is essentially witnessing that firsthand. These guys are outside all the time, yeah. rootling about in their yeah. paddock. Then it all it all comes down to quality. Absolutely. Quality, uh -huh. taste, flavor, and supporting local, keeping this place going as well. The fresh produce and assorted livestock tended to by fifth generation farmers like Jane and Grant Brand of the Brand family, East Fortune Farm, and celebrated chefs complete the culinary picture. So Tom, how important is it for you to be able to come out to the farm, see the livestock that's being raised, and how much of an influence does that have on your seasonal menu? Oh, massive. I mean, it's so important that I come and see what these guys are doing. But at the same time, there's the cattle farmers, mm -hmm. the vegetable growers, the fishermen. It's the whole collective thing. Yeah. Within Scotland's robust culinary community, one chef stands out amongst the rest. Last name Kitchen. That's a very <laughs> unique name. Yeah. I mean, it kind of works. Classically trained, Tom Kitchen was the youngest chef ever to be awarded a Michelin star for his namesake restaurant, The Kitchen. Located within the Leith neighborhood of Edinburgh, a distinction he's maintained for over a decade. So it's not just earning the Michelin star, it's keeping it yeah, as well. You've got to keep it every year. And capitalizing on an impeccable reputation within the city streets, Tom's taken his passion for locally sourced Scottish ingredients a bit closer to the source with his latest project, the Bonnie Badger, nestled in the quaint village of Gullin on Scotland's east coast. How would you describe Scottish cuisine overall? There's a whole new movement which is starting. Often we're taking classic dishes and we're twisting them into mm -hmm. the new modern approach. In a sense, that's exactly all we're doing is we're just enhancing what's here already. We're gonna do a lamb pie, because we love a pie here. You, you guys know? do love your pies. <laughs> it's, it's, everything's a pie, a fish pie, <laughs> beef pie, lamb pie. Yeah. How would you describe the ethos and the inspiration yeah. behind your menu at your restaurants? Is this traditional Scottish cuisine or is this kind of Scottish cuisine with the Tom Kitchen flair? This is Scottish cuisine with the Tom Kitchen flair, but it is very much homely food, pub food, country food, that kind of thing. You've actually taken techniques from other places around the world and you've incorporated them into 100%. Scottish cuisine. And this blows your mind. If you yeah. think you go back 10, 15 years ago, yeah. this was non-existent. Woo, hot pies. Is there something unique about Gollin where you were like, this is where I want to start my next restaurant? Oh, we're on the most beautiful beach, about 200 yards down that way, and, you know, picturesque, white sands, beautiful. It's only half an hour from Edinburgh, you know? That is delicious. That is juicy, that is flavorful, that is tender. It's incredible, man.
This isn't just a restaurant, it's also an inn. Yeah, it's an inn. My wife's dream has always been to have a small hotel, you know, something that she can create, something really special. We have 14 bedrooms, and it's really like we're inviting you to come into our house. Mm -hmm. We're trying to think about families, we're trying to think about tourists, we're trying to think about what locals want, and then we're trying to merge all that in together. I'll drink to that, my friend. Cheers, my friend.